I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And I'm Koyan. And Koyan has been with us once before. I have. Previously, yeah. you were here because she is in our Be a Plant Face. Come on, you guys. Be, Be a Plant Face Woman Warrior. warrior. <laughs> woman <Live> Warrior. <laughs> Stay, Stay bold. Eat delicious. delicious. Yeah. Koyan is part Thank of you so much for having me back. Yes, I'm for having me back. Yes. This was her recipe. Oh, the chickpea masala. She did this recipe with us a few videos ago, yes. but she's back by popular mm -hmm. demand. And what are we doing today? We're such Absolutely. a wonderful community. Love your food. Oh, thank and you. And I am so excited about this because Jane has been talking about it because she got to go to your house mm -hmm. and experience it. And right. now I get to. So excited. Yes. So, so today I'm here to make an Indian flatbread. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of different kinds of Indian flatbreads today. And the one we're making today is called Rotla. And Can you spell that? Please? Sure, it's R-O-T-L-A. Mm -hmm. um, that's the plural. When you have just one, it's a rotlo. Okay, why have I heard of roti? That's because there's just so many different kinds, and okay. that's the name of a different kind. Yes, that okay. one's thinner. Um, this one's a thick, hearty Indian flatbread that just goes... Just like us. When, what is yeah. it, it roll with? <laughs> Um, we, I'm going to explain some things that we can go, we can okay. serve it with a dal, you can serve it with eggplant, you can serve it with a chutney, we can talk about that a little bit, about some of the options to put it with. Let's go. In let's my go. house, I mix it with all different kinds of things when I make it. So, um, so this rote low goes back in my family, generations and generations and generations. Have you ever heard that when it says, if your grandmother doesn't know what it is, don't eat it? Yes. Have you heard that before? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, this is one of those foods that comes right out of my grandmother's cookbook for me, really. And it's been made... Um, I, probably by my great great grandparents. I love when I asked Koyan, like, how, how long have you, has your family made this? And she looked at me like, uh, I, I, I could tell she was saying, like, is this going back thousands of years? Like, what, what do you yeah. mean? Come on, it's been around <laughs> forever. I love that. Yeah. So, should we get started? Yes. Okay. So, this recipe is less about the ingredients and it's more about the technique. And I will sort of put a little disclaimer out there that um, even though I've been making it on my own here in my kitchen in Ohio for ages, I wouldn't call myself an expert. Um, uh, it's an, she it's is a real, an expert. No, it's a real art to make it. And I can't call myself an expert if I put myself up against my mother in law and some other family members who can make just the most okay, beautiful humble, ones. Okay, humble warrior begin. So, but yes. I, I do. I I do know, I have learned a few things along the way, and I want to show you how to make it so it's accessible. And mm -hmm. my mom always said that when I was cooking a lot of those Indian dishes that are really complicated. She said, you feel free to shortcut it in mm -hmm. your kitchen and make it doable in your house and in your life. And so it's something that's I remember right. a lot. And that's this great. was one of my mom's favorite flatbreads, actually. She loved it. And mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to remember her, especially when we get started. Okay. And your so, father's here today. To enjoy he came to watch and cheer me on. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So much fun, y'all. <laughs> okay, so to make this, we're going to get right started. Um, we are going to use a flour called Badri flour. And um, it's, it's a kind of millet flour, but it is a special millet flour. And I always get it in an Indian grocery store. It's possible it's available it's in other places. It's an Indian grocery but store if you don't. But have this you flour. said it was just to go buy millet flour won't work. No, I think there's more than one kind of millet flour, and this is pearl millet flour that this is made with. So that's, that's and it's got a slightly grayish color. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're looking for when you make this, okay? And we're going to start with a, a cup of millet flour. And if, yeah, I'm, can I say one thing about this? Sure. This is actually kind of, um, it's almost gray in color. Yes. And mm -hmm. That's not like millet flour that I was familiar with before this was always a little more of like a, a yellower color. Mm -hmm. But this is the gray that's it's distinctive and it's absolutely worth the trip to the store. So, yep. sorry, continue. Um, I store this bread in the freezer and freshness really matters here. Flour, I yeah. mean, the best, best, best rotla comes mm -hmm. from um, very freshly ground millet. Mm -hmm. But that's not readily mm -hmm. available here. Optionally, if you'd like, you can add a little bit of salt to the flour mm -hmm. and that, but that's not required. That's fine. Some of our followers or whatever you are right. called, subscribers might not, and that's fine. Right. Um, and then we're going to sift that. Um, if you don't sift it, what happens? It still works sometimes. I still, sometimes I shortcut it without sifting it. Uh, it's a little softer if you sift it, I think. 
Look at that top shot. Can you see that beautiful it's sister? So, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to sit. It's fun it's fun to sit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a sifter. Um, okay. And so now I'm just going to transfer this flower that we just sifted into this bowl here. And um, okay, so we have a cup of sifted millet flour with a little bit of salt in there in this bowl. And now we are going to add some hot water to it. Which and I'm going to get, we're get our, we, our microwave is on the skits, but oh, this feels, this feels hot. Great. You, you make sure, mm -hmm. you sure okay. that's okay for you. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to add um, somewhere between a third and a half cup. We've measured a cup of water in here. We can do a little subtraction and tell you exactly how much that is. Um, we're going to do it more by feel. This is where the technique of this dish is much more complicated than the ingredients. It's water, salt, and flour. That's all it is. And I'm going to add a little bit at a time. I love that. It's just, it's a recipe as old as time. Yeah. <laughs> and There's I'm going to start... There's not even a spoon involved. <laughs> I'm going to start to knead it here. Oh, and nice weight. And the, can, the top shot, let me get this. I can get it. Yep. Top shot, because it's to see how, see how it's right. all. When I, when I first watched you do this, I thought, there's no way it's going to all combine. And yeah, sure enough, she it just. It does, yeah. Got it, got um, it, got it, she got it all in. Yep. I, I oh, usually take my rings off, uh, but it, it is. Good. <laughs> it does have a nice. Does, yeah. um, I usually take my rings off, but it's not a very sticky flower mm -hmm. um, once it comes together. And, you know, the goal is to bring it all, all of this flour together into a soft dough and you want it to be as soft as you can um, while still workable when we try to roll it. So I can see that it's starting to come together here. And I might just add a touch more water to make it. What, what do you want? And you're trying to get there to taste some when he tries to taste <laughs> no, I just want to get every little bit. I don't think it would taste she, good she, yet. And she, it's amazing. At the end, she just, she gets every grain of, of flour. It's, it's awesome. You know, it just, is it just looks like so much fun. No, and, um, and, and I, I mean, mean so I can see, and um, I love how I can satisfying. see that you, like, your, your hands know more what you're doing than, yeah. than, Oh, look. Isn't that amazing? It's so different. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I hope you're getting a top shot of this too, Wade. This um, is so satisfying. Yeah, so you just need some clean hands. And then, um, you know, I, I loved how you said it's so satisfying because the process of making it is satisfying. It's also a very hearty and satisfying um, flatbread mm -hmm. to eat. And, uh, you know, when I'm hungry, when I'm hungry, this is what I think of making. And I, I mean, it must be that the millet is harvested late summer because this is a real winter food I mean, oh. they make it in the cold yeah it'll it'll warm you right up look at that i mean you can eat it at all times of the year and it's eat it it's eaten all around india but my family's from gujarat and i'm just gonna just a touch okay well more. right now it's at it's at half a cup so you've used almost half, half a cup, cup. Yeah. and you're just gonna wet just your gonna, hands i'm just gonna wet my hands and um because i want this dough to be soft okay and then you um, just be patient and play around with this. Knead it for about five minutes. If for some reason someone put too much water, you can just sprinkle can just, in a little more just flour. Sprinkle in a little bit more flour, exactly. Um, and touch it. See how that feels. And then describe the texture. Mode. What do you think it feels like? What do you think it feels like? It's warm, soft. Uh, it's so it's and gentle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think it. I think it's like. All I can compare it to is this that fresh container of play-doh play-doh yeah it is i mean i had i, I, yeah. I didn't want to use the term or model magic do you remember model magic I mean, so it was a different version of model Magic. anyway it was like air dries but it's never, fluffy it's play-doh was never as soft and as warm I mean, yeah. this is really I know. satisfying I it's yeah. Okay, well, here. okay. Are we doing? Well, she's, she's gonna we're do just keep. Try. You're just going to keep need, needing this for about five minutes, um, and then. What does the kneading do? Makes it. I don't know. This is gluten free, so it's not about the gluten. Yeah. I couldn't tell you why you need it. I think if you need it patiently like this, the longer you pay, you need it, the better chances of it getting. You want it to be soft. And the idea is, you'll see when we cook it, you want it to puff up. And I can't guarantee that's going to happen. That's always my goal. Every single time I make it, I get so excited if it happens. <laughs> so let's hope for that for today. Um, so you're going to keep kneading it like this for five minutes. 
and then you will let it rest uh, at least five minutes, maybe 20. Mm -hmm. You don't want to let it to rest for too much longer than that because you don't want it to dry out. Well, how, oh, how do so, you know that's good. it's right after it's rested or you don't? You don't. You just, Have just, you ever can just we... rolled it yes, fast? Yes, all the time I do that. And is it bad? No, no, it's still good. So this dough has been resting for a while and we're just going to Go ahead and start with this. Um, we'll, we'll, let this, this rest, rest. we'll let this rest for a little bit. And you can, it's been needed for about five minutes and then we'll let, we'll let this one rest. And then I'm gonna take this and probably make, um, divide it into two. Um, and then it's actually a little big. Let's divide it into three. Okay. Um, so then we roll it and- um, Should I get be heating this up? Yeah, I think we should heat that up. Thank you. The pan, she likes to have it on like a uh, high temperature. What kind so, of pan do you need to use a nonstick? I would use a nonstick, yeah. Your nonstick never pan, people always ask, this is called a C-I-R-C-U-L-O-N, Circulon. I could be pronouncing it wrong. Is that good? Is that but people good asked one? a million times that we, we use one what of our- kind of pans, yeah. yeah. And we, ha we circulate through um, Nonstick pans because they're not stick and then they're sort of stick and then they really stick. So we <laughs> we we don't know. Yeah. But you're you've had this one for quite a while. I have, I've seen yeah. you make a lot of roti yeah. on this one. Yeah. Um, okay. So when you um, you want to roll a ball until it has no cracks. So you just want to make and, it. And, and wait, you, let her let her demo. Okay. It'll crack. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, so the technique here um, traditionally it was cooked on a clay a clay, pa a clay pan, um, but those aren't very very available here in the United States. That's not really accessible. Actually, originally cooked on the heat, they burn cow dung cakes. Oh, and, um, they, and they, they would get that kind of it would get that kind of smokiness from the clay and the heating heating cooked that way. But I cook it on a gas stove home using at home now, and I use this pan. Um, Rolling it is also part of the technique, and um, my mom's sister um, and lots of family members don't use a rolling pin at all. They just pat it between their hands like this until they, they get a thick, flat, even disc. I find that a bit challenging still. I don't do it that way. Uh, some people put it down on a piece of plastic like this, and they pat it and twist it and pat it and twist it. I find that to be too challenging as well. So my shortcut way is to take this, um, I've cut open a Ziploc bag here and I put the flattened ball in between two pieces oh. of plastic like this so that I don't have to worry about sticking. And then the goal is to roll it uh, maybe a little less than a quarter inch thick. And so this want... rolling pin is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's right. called a velarn, and it's it uh, like a, it's a traditional a Indian chair, but, you know, a, a spindle of a staircase a or a chair. a chair. So what's it called? A, a... a velarn. You gotta say that again. Mm. A velarn. Velarn. Yeah. Um, velarn. That's just that's how I think. But would a ro any rolling pin work? Do you think? I think so. Yeah. Well, we we're gonna try. We might try. Try to try. Try that. <laughs> After, after she perfected, <laughs> there's a great one for us, we're um, going to try. Um, so, you know, I think the goal is to handle it as little as possible mm -hmm. um, and and to be as gentle with it as we possibly can. So, as we can. Put this so. Of you. gosh, that's just beautiful. Okay, we can, can we slide that over? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to okay. slide this over right now. Okay. And it's on and it's hot, so let's just... Okay, so this pan's been heating up for a while, and I'm going to take the rotlo that we just rolled and... Ooh. I'm going to put it down on the pan like that. And we're going to start to cook it. And the first side is a little shorter. And then we'll flip it and cook it a little longer. How do you know when it's ready to flip? Um, I'm going to be guessing at it. I want the color. I want the. Um, it has a little. It takes a little shine and starts to turn a little oh, look brown. At, look at, yeah, look at now I actually don't want it to puff yet because I want it to cook evenly. So this is our kind of gas stove, not yeah, her yeah. usual this technique. Is, so we'll be able to see how this goes. Yeah. And when I was doing it with you, oh, I guess it was the second side. We peaked to make sure that it was getting a yeah. little bit brown, but you don't. Sometimes I, you have to peak just to see how far along well, you are. It's not your own stove. It's mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. But it looks like around the edge, it might have a little mm -hmm. cookie, a yeah. browning look. So rotla is from 
um, a part of India called Gujarat, which is where most of my family's from. Yeah. So, um, the Kirtan, best. Where in India is where, it's, it's on the western side. It's on the coast. Has a long coastline actually. Um, how the best rote lie I've ever had is in the home of my grandmother's sister, and um, it was just so delicious. Maybe about five or seven years ago, it was sort of melt in your mouth, soft. It was amazing. I can't imagine this is. Is this is, I feel like this is burning, but it doesn't it feel like it's burning. No, oh, it's okay. It's it okay. It's okay. It looks okay. Well, yeah. Um, okay. So why was it the most was delicious? Do you think? I. You know, I think they probably have really fresh millet. Just freshly ground millet mm -hmm. flour, and um, now what and it's that? very close to where the millet's grown, so it's kind of local. What does this do? So um, this is called a dotto, and I don't think everyone uses a dotto when they cook rotla. I do because I find that when I press it down onto the heat a little bit, um, I don't know. I get it. I feel Can like you in show my weighed the underside so yeah. it has arced. Yes, yeah, Scott, it's, it's beveled or yeah, it's yeah. got it's got it's like a flat. little bit of a it's got a little mm -hmm. bit of a rise to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you, you use that. Use so the, she rolls it. You couldn't yeah. use the, you know, something no. like that. I, well, I mean, yeah. the closest I, mean, I found is I have this, which is from a mortar and pestle, and I just, it, yeah. it feels a little too heavy and clunky, but mm -hmm. I want to get a duck dough. Okay. I don't know where. Let's or how. peek and see what this looks like on the other side. Oh, oh. we're getting there. Okay, that looks good. And then um, flip it over one more time, and this is where you hope it puffs. Um, I'm going to press it on the heat and see if I can get... I'm getting a little bit of a puff. Can you see it puffing oh, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit oh, right yeah. there? Oh, yeah. Now, um, when we were doing non bread oh, for our cookbook... It's, it's, it's puffing. It's puffing. It's, oh, it's, it's such a six, puff. It's a beautiful puff. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How do you know when... When to stop pressing. Well, it just takes a little bit of practice and experience, right? You do a lot of flops and then you see that? Okay. And it is getting smoky just like the... Um, I want our smoke alarm to go yeah, off. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Should we put it here? We, we can. Do you want to put it on? We can put it on here and then... Um, so there it is. Um, we can... Now, should you eat it immediately? That's such a good question because um, this flatbread, I find, is best if you eat it right away. If it sits around for too long, I find it to get a little hard and it's a little tough. Uh, so it's one of those things that I make just as many as I need and I eat them up right away. And when we eat them, um, you would typically put um, rotla together with the dal. This is an urad dal and um, that's one possibility. Uh, often e eaten... U-R-D or urad dal? E, I'm sorry, U-R-A-D. Urad. Urad dal. Yep. Yep. And then um, this, I made this eggplant dish and mm -hmm. that's another possibility. Um, or you can put it together with some chutneys. I know um, this is a green chutney from my house, and this is this is the one that we made earlier on a previous YouTube. Yeah, mint and coriander, I think, or coriander and mint, maybe. Yes, or... we, we call it cilantro. But, cilantro, but coriander okay. is the proper. Coriander, name. yes. No, no, cilantro. It's, it's the same, same thing. Interchangeable. Um, so let's can we try? Did do you we want to try it? making one, or do you want to try? Do you want to taste it? Let's yeah, taste it first. Taste it while it's hot. Yeah, go ahead. While it's hot, show okay. us how. You can show us. Okay, I want to just break off a piece, and uh, here you go. Oh. See if you like it. Do you see how it's got that? See when it puffed, it got that. <laughs> it got that little. Um, yeah. The, do you the, see the, how the where it puffed? It got yeah. that little. That's yeah. That's when really was, good. When we were researching, it came, it came out well. When we were researching and we were working on doing the non bread in our, our cookbook, they talked about having like making sure that it puffed, and I was like, what's going on with that? It's because that's when the heat gets inside and it cooks from the inside. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, makes so much sense. So I see why a puff would be desirable. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know. So. You can put. It's good, just plain too. Yeah. Oh, Wade, here, Wade, you gotta try. <sighs> Wait, here. We have to send this last piece of coins. Oh, let me hold your hand. Sorry. <clears throat> go, go. Oh, no. I'm gonna try. Which uh, topping do you want? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think he's Isn't gonna have coming? it for lunch later. Know. He's gonna have and it for lunch later. And the, the the flatbread is, I mean, there's so much flavor in just, what is it, millet, yeah. a little bit of salt, and water, and pressure, and love, and handling, and mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. The ingredients and are simple, and it's just a little bit of an experience, a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience, and you start to figure out how it works in your kitchen, because it's the heat, the pan, the, the flour. Mm. It's really fun. 
Oh, wow. What is that clam? That's eggplant. And what else? Um, a bunch of different spices, a bunch of different spices and some tomato. I was just, okay. Where is he playing again soon? Because she's going to, what is it okay. called? It's, um, it's here, Roy, um, I almost called you Roy. Wade, <laughs> Wade you got to try this. This, Wade, do you like eggplant? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Because if you didn't like eggplant, you were going to like it after this. <laughs> try that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Oh. Isn't that amazing? I would just eat that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would just eat that. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how people, I mean, it's. I mean, so when you say what it's called, I mean, we call it a shock. So when you take a, a fresh, ve yeah, a when, you take ve when you take a fresh vegetable and chop it up and cook it up with seasoning, you get a shock and you can have an eggplant shock. You could have um, a potato shock. You could, I mean, just any vegetable. So it's just okay. kind of the generic but term for. slowly take over our whole channel. <laughs> we're going to see, we're going to no see. Way, no way, no way. The foods you've made have no. been awesome no. and I love them and I make them all the time. We so love, we love it. So, okay, we might officially end the video now, in which case we're going to say bye and thank you, but we're going to try right now and I are going to try and do our hand at this. So the video might end with just Koyan and you won't see our messes, but we're going to try. Okay. And, and so I'm having the last little. When we stop bite. snacking, that is. All right. <laughs> so. Um, official thank official thank you now. Thanks for we're having me. We're going to try it again. And, oh, and, well, and, and we're Jane, gonna, it was so great to see you. You too, but we're going to try. So okay. We'll okay. All right, Koyan. Here's a, a ball. Here's a ball for you. Um, you're going to start to roll it in your hands until there are no cracks. Add a, put a little pressure on it. Get a nice... Is the crack... Why do we avoid the crack? Because it will then cook if that would have crack and... Okay. No cracks. No cracks. Okay. <laughs> it probably wouldn't puff it if it had cracks in it. That looks really nice. Oh. Beautiful. Is that a crack? Okay. Wait, wait, is that a crack? I know. I'm just hiding it. <laughs> I'm not looking for imperfection. I saw a little crack. <laughs> I'm, I'm now like, I'm okay. not a good roller. So I can now mm -hmm. roll mine on my plastic? Yes. Yeah, so you can set down your plastic. These are little um, used put bags. The, the dough there. Press it down a little bit. Since I'm a grandmother, I am trying it she's, not with plastic. Yeah, because my great grandmother would not have had plastic, no. so she's doing it the way my great grandmother would have done it, and my is grandmother. Okay if my edges have cracks. My edges have yeah, cracks. Yeah, you know what? Um, you can kind of just um, try and coax, coax the edges a little bit if your edges have. Cracks. You think so they had like it looked like little chapters? Did your great grandmother have big hands? <laughs> she probably had tiny hands. Uh, I don't think so. But very knowledgeable yeah, hands. You look at that. And that looks beautiful. Check I think that's ready. You don't want it to be at much thinner than that. And that looks nice and even too. So I think that's going to cook beautifully. Is the stove okay. On? So Anne and I are using the stove back here and Koya is going to use the gas stove because she worked, hers worked so well on that. Um, so this is, go here. and it's, I want it to be a little hotter. Okay. Koyan's. We have to have the stove. Heated in order to put when you okay, yes put, you want the stove to be hot but when you okay we're gonna put this one back over here okay okay Koi, you give it a minute to warm yep. up and hold on okay so I'll come and watch you because these are warm does right? that just feel that that doesn't feel warm enough does it I mean they're warm they're warm will it work will it be okay? sometimes the fir yes sometimes the first one on the pan don't people say the first pancake never works or something it is like sacrificial. that sacrificial yes so it's, it can happen that way but we'll see how I this goes that's a little too thick no it's actually a, that looks good. Koyan, is mine okay? Is it not too thin? We'll see how it goes. I mean, sometimes they come out a little thinner, sometimes a little thicker. I think it's going to be I'm fine. I'm so excited. Okay, so Koyan, yours, yours is ready okay. for you. Okay, I'm going to cook it at mine over here. We've got Koyan on the top shot. We've got Anne and Jane battling it out over here on, yep. the, on the electric stove. Heh, if I can get mine off. Oh! Koyan, if you were doing this for a group of people. Oh, no! No! My, my, that was um, yours too thin. Yeah. And that's, it, you, right? Um, you can, <laughs> you can start a little early and make a little stack if you're group, doing them from group people. Okay, so what are we going to do with our little wrinkles? We are just going to do the best we can. Once I it cooks, like you'll wrinkles. be able to spread it out. I never wear makeup. <laughs> I like wrinkles. I think they're really beautiful and historical and um, she and has a little topography. Do you think that happened just because you transferred it to the pan too quickly? Yeah. After you took I, it off and the plastic? I, I think mine was kind of bigger like look at okay, yes. size versus mine yeah. and um 
uh, I'm just going to go with it because yeah. this might be yeah. how some of them yeah. happen. And I think that's a good point. Maybe start out small with smaller ones because oh. they're a little easier to manipulate. So right. it's a little, a little wee bit thicker. Yes, right. I kind of like the blistering, thicker. or not yes. blistering, but the brrr action I've got. And I think yours might be ready to flip over here. Here, Ann. Huh. You go. Ready? Nice. Woo! Oh, good. good. Okay. Good, good. Bad flip. But I has, it has to rest. It just let it rest for a second, and then I think we'll be able to slide it to the center. I think my thin situation is, okay. it's, it's, I can hear mine. It's whistling, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Does yours whistle sometimes? I don't know. <laughs> I hear you. What should I do? It needs to flip. I think it needs to flip. It's, it needs it's, to flip. it's to flip. a little bit screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, can you hold that? I don't, I don't know why I'm holding it. Um, oh goodness. Oh gracious. It's, it's burning. It, yeah, I think I got all the things happening on mine. I'm so glad I'm trying this. And yours is, oh. Okay, you got out. it. You got it. Okay, I have some sticking, but this is my semi-stick pan. Ooh. Okay. Odd. Okay. Odd Rotla with us. And why, why don't you try moving yours to the center now, see if it will move. Oh, I forgot about mine. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm good over here. Point is perfect. She did with her yeah. Point. Shall I clap? Shall I bang it? Let's this. see. Now you do this. Now you, I'm going to press it on the heat just to get the spot that hasn't been cooked. Coy, now she's doing the. Okay. Now, Let's see. Can I do it with this just as well? Well, this is the second side, right? Yeah. So you don't really, I mean, you can press it down just to um, push edges. it against the heat. Do you see how where these, the, these are these spots where that didn't brown haven't been cooked? So. You can push it down on the heat to kind of speed that up a little bit. I, um, I think this is really pretty. But Koi, look, at, look at Koi. Look at Koi. It's so pretty. Uh, oh. Okay. All right, Anna, I need okay. a special. I need that, my, don't laugh at mine, Wade. I hear you laughing. <laughs> okay. Can I flip mine over again? Let's see. That looks great. Yeah, it's no, mine. that looks great. That looks great. You know what, Jane? Take that little burn place off. No, no. Here. It's all, she said it looks great. It's still screaming. I got a screamer. You know, uh, at the end, the when it's traditionally cooked, they take it off the pan and put it directly on the flames. Oh. So it gets this kind of charred. Fine. I did yes. mine too I got soon. some pocket. I got a pocket. I got a pocket. pocket yes, pocket, you pocket. did get a pocket of puff. That's pocket, pocket, pocket. It's a pocket. It's a pocket. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm burning down the house with this. Here, what's, is yours turned over twice now? No. It, 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 why, did you turn my stove off? Oh, shoot. I didn't. <laughs> I thought I was turning it to high. Well, you turned it <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here, I, mine's okay. done, I think. I think yours is done, Jane. So jump on my pan, Ann. Yeah, why, why don't we move? Why don't we move? Ann's isn't done. Mine is pre, um, pre uh, broken. Yep, and here's mine. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> I just and moved mine over and broke it. Here, no, I, I did this thing, and, and, and that you get to push it down and, and twist it, like find it. I think ours are interesting, even though they're not perfect. Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't think they're still going to taste delicious. Do that yet. My, this is my. What do you need? The spatula? You turned my stove off, so it ruined it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She sabotaged you. Yeah. I did not mean. To, I, I, I did not mean to sabotage. It's burning. It's doing. It's doing. Here. Okay. Are you gonna make this last one? I think we. Do you want to make the last one? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just go ahead. Um, is, is that is Oops. that all right? I should not have kept that on the plane. Yeah, I can. Perfect. It'd be great. Because hmm. I'd love to have our little display of all good. of our all of our efforts. <laughs> um, well, I, my just a quick report of what's happening back here. Is apparently I turned Anne's stove not to full high. I turned it clicked beyond high to off. Even though I know it looked like it was on high. Even though it. I the white coin. So guilty. I didn't mean to do that at all, and I'm so sorry, Anne. Did not mean to sabotage her. Um, but it still worked, and it's puffing. It's puffing. It's puffing. Okay. So will you bring yours over there? All the pieces of it. Don't eat it here. here. Well, wait a minute. I want to just check. Take here, a little put it right. Put it right here with the rest of ours. Coin's doing one more. Delivered beautifully to her pan. Put a little piece down. 
perfect. Nice. <laughs> I am pasting my paste back. She's, she's repairing. She's repairing. Okay, and Koya's going to do one more, and yeah. then we're going to be all ready to show them off. It kind of worked. We are yeah. clearly novices. She's the pro. Look at Koyan's perfect one, number one, perfect number two. Jane's uh, hot mess looks like pan, pan Egypt. And pan I'm eating the broken piece and off mine. Well, yours was pretty darn perfect, but I apparently sal sort of sabotaged hers and turned the heat off when I didn't mean to. So they taste delicious, and we can't wait to finish it all. So thank you so much. Enjoy your rotla that you make with your hands, with your roller pin. However, get a dutto. Bye-bye. Thank you, Koyan. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. Have we started? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right, take.